Coronation Street's Daisy Midgley was fighting a losing battle when she tried to get help to stop her deranged stalker Justin Rutherford from destroying her life. It took Justin, played by Andrew Still, launching a horrendous acid attack in recent Coronation Street scenes, which ended up changing the life of Ryan Connor, Ryan Prescott, for action to finally be taken, and the villain is now in custody. Speaking exclusively to Express, psychologist Merid Malloy explained the potential long-lasting impacts on acid attack victims, and how receiving justice can be so important. As fans of the ITV soap know, the police didn't seem to take Daisy's concerns seriously at first. She was hoping she could finally see justice for herself and Ryan during Justin's first court appearance following the attack but to her heartbreak, he pleaded not guilty. It's hoped Justin will get what he deserves, but his plea is definitely going to make the process much harder. In disturbing scenes which aired last month, Ryan screamed in agony after Justin threw a substance at his face. Daisy has been left consumed by guilt as Ryan faces a tough future with permanent scarring to his face. The pair have been through a terrible trauma, so it's expected for them both to face a struggle in the coming months or even longer. However, could things be made worse by Justin's behavior? The two hope Justin will receive a long sentence, but if he gets off lightly, things will be far scarier and worse for Daisy and Ryan. To fight the injustice of such attacks might prove cathartic to many victims, Merid explained. This is evident in the strong push by leading organizations to change legislation in the countries where such attacks occur most. Currently there are little or no punishments meted for acid attacks. Even in the UK, the current sentencing recommendation for unlawful wounding or inflicting grievous bodily harm is only five years, a sentence rarely imposed. And for sending, throwing or using an explosive or corrosive substance or noxious things with the intent to do grievous bodily harm the perpetrator can potentially get life, but this rarely if ever happens, even in advanced societies where the laws are not subservient to religious dogma. Could Daisy and Ryan have insult added to injury if Justin doesn't receive a life sentence? It's possible Daisy will struggle with this and the added guilt. How will she cope with the ongoing ordeal? It's possible she might decide to move on from Weatherfield and start a new life, which will likely break finance Daniel Osborne's, Rob Mallard, heart. It doesn't help matters that Daisy is trying to cheer Ryan up by pretending to be her friend who ghosted him, using a different number. It seems she might be caught out soon though. Official spoilers confirm Carla Connor, Alison King, calls in the Rovers and tells Daisy that Ryan seems down in the dumps again. She quickly sends him a text from Crystal. Could Daniel find out what's happening and start a row with his fiancée, 